Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a little bit of Blu-ray hunting. Oh yes, baby. A little bit of midweek Blu-ray hunting. Uh, I've got a couple of CEX vouchers, which I need to hopefully use. £22 worth. Oh, lovely. Might be able to pick up some nice bargains with that. Over in Canterbury at the moment we are. So I'm going to pop into CEX. We'll have a look in Poundland, see if there's anything over here. Now that we're getting some new deliveries in. Uh, you never know, there might be something bigger than The Revenant. Who knows? <laughs> uh, and also, um, we'll have a quick look in HMV. Not a lot going on, I should imagine. No new deliveries. And also the charity shop over here. There's one charity shop that I always go in when I'm over here because they have loads of DVDs, but they always have quite a few Blu-rays sometimes as well. So we'll try that. So let us stop waffling and get into town and... Um, explore. First stop, Poundland. Let's go in and have a look, see if they've got anything. Okay, so we have a few in here. Uh, the Watch, Great Barrier, Devil's Dew, Alex Cross. So just the same, but uh, also got some boxes with some Blu-rays in. So I'm gonna kind of like pull one of them or two down and have a look, see what's in them. Okay, so mainly the rest of what's on the shelf there. Although they do have a few of these Snoopy and Charlie Brown Blu-rays. Yes, and this box as well. So it just seems to be these repeated ones. Okay, so nothing worth picking up there. So let's move on to the next stop, which will be into the British Heart Foundation over the road. Have a look if they've got anything. Okay, so we have a few here. So we've got Hobbit, Destination of Smog, Project X, Serenity of the Dark Knight, Fast and Furious 1. Just a few. And Downton Abbey. Series 1 to 4. So I think that was all of the Blu-rays. I don't think there's uh, any more. Okay, so nothing worth picking up in there. So next stop, up here, CEX. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so what have we got? Nice little selection here. Okay, we've got Avengers Age of Ultron 3D. Very nice. I uh, don't know what this is. Nerve Shredding Terror? Allig the Alligator? Oops. Lots of uh, Ant-Mans there. Ant-Man and the Wasp and Avengers. Banshee there, I think that was season three. We've got Die Hard 4K. Lots of Deadpools as well, and some Equalizers. 
Um, what's this H? Was this Thunderbirds or something? What is that? HD20? What's that? I'm not sure what that is. And we have a Lion King with a reprinted cover. Mm. Okay, so we are out of Canterbury. I've got myself a lovely coaster. Uh, this is a um, almond vanilla latte, and it's bloody nice. Oh, it's lovely. I love almond drinks. Very nice. Okay, so um, didn't have much luck in Poundland. Although they did have loads of Blu-rays, but those boxes that were on the top shelf all had the same Blu-rays in, so um, there was no mixture. But they did have a few of those Peanuts movies with slips, so that's good because they're getting quite uh, popular. Anyway, we'll have another look in Poundland in a couple of days' time, now that we're on a roll and getting some... <laughs> <laughs> we're on a roll right okay um no luck in the charity shop they had some blues that downton abbey collection one to four was 15 quid they wanted for that i'm sure they wanted 15 quid for it i suppose it's going to charity isn't it anyway um i did pick up some blu-rays in cex oh yes baby um I think maybe one of them's questionable. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that one till last because I'm just trying to get my head around why I picked it up. Anyway, let's get on. Uh, the first one, which I'm really happy they had, and I picked up the first movie of this from Poundland. I'm pretty sure it was Poundland or it might have been CEX. I can't remember. But it's the Inbetweeners 2. I've been looking for this one. I wanted to complete my Inbetweeners collection. Um, and this one comes with a lovely slip as well. Three quarter slip, I think they call them, because it doesn't cover up the full plastic at the top there. But yeah, really enjoyed this movie. Not as much as the first film, but um, this was the Australian one, the one they were in the Outback and all that. Very funny. So I'm glad I've now completed my Inbetweeners 2 movie collection so i just need to keep a lookout now for the series uh which is only on dvd i believe but um so i just need to look out for that uh, but this was two pounds fifty so good deal good deal okay uh next one let's put that one to the bottom the next one i've seen this multiple times in uh, various stores specifically like hmv and I love Kurt Russell movies. I think he's a brilliant actor. And he's one of those actors that whenever you see him in something, you just really want to watch him. But it also stars Patrick Wilson and Matthew Fox. Is that Matthew Fox from Lost? Yes, it is. Jack Shepard. Not the one that's recently given himself up to the police. <laughs> but um, yes, it's called Bone Tomahawk. And it comes in a black case as well. That's really nice. Uh, the best Western since Unforgiven. Well, I didn't really like Unforgiven. So it's probably going to be better than Unforgiven. In my personal opinion anyway. But um, look, it's got lots of stars on the top there. So it looks good. Uh, it's a group of cannibal savages. Kidnap settlers from a small town of Bright Hope. That sounds good as it is. Led by Sheriff Franklin Hunt. Kurt Russell. Ah, oh, yes. So, yes, I am really looking forward to seeing this. Um, four quid. Can't go wrong with that. Next one I picked up, uh, I've not really heard of. Um, it's got a slip, but it's not in the best condition. But still, it's two quid. It's called Rover. I don't think it's a film about a dog. <laughs> It's uh, the fear the man with nothing left to lose, intensely gripping with Guy Pearce and Robert Pattinson of Twilight. He looks a bit menacing there, but uh, it does look good. It looks good. I don't know anything about it. It says a mesmerising visionary achievement, the best post-apocalyptic post movie since the original Mad Max. Wow. Undoubtedly atmospheric and brutal. 
I do like my end of the world apocalypse shit. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. As I say, I've never heard of it. And I like Robert Pattinson, but anything with Guy Pearce in attracts me because he's a really good actor. And he hasn't done a lot. He hasn't had the, the major recognition that he should have. Oh, excuse me. Okay, next one I've got um, is also a film I've never seen. I've heard great things about it. And with the Captain Marvel coming up with Brie Larson, I thought I'd pick this up because it does look good and it won a shitload of awards. Although you can't see the title on here because they put a sticker over it. But it's called Room. Uh, based on the best-selling novel, one of the best movies of something. And she won Best Actress? This says she won Best Actress at the Academy Awards. Holy crap, I didn't know that. Nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, an extraordinary film, enchanting and uplifting. From what I can see, it looks like it's something about uh, maybe a, a mum and her kid that's been kidnapped and kept in a room. I don't know. But uh, I'm sure um, I'm sure you all let me know what it is. But it does look good. It does look really good. So um, yes, uh, I'm up for anything with Brie Larson in the mo at the moment. So if you've got any suggestions of any films with Brie Larson that I should really see, stick it down in the comments. Uh, the next one I picked up for two pounds fifty. Now I do have this film, but not this version. Uh, and this is really nice, and it's a, it's got a beautiful slip on it as well. Unscratched and undamaged. Man of Steel. Yes, I've got Man of Steel. I do like Man of Steel. Brilliant, isn't it? This is such a good quality. The slip is such a good quality. Uh, it's £2.50, but it also includes the 3D. I've got Man of Steel, the steel book, but I have not got Man of Steel in 3D, and I've not seen it in 3D. So for £2.50, bloody hell, yes, I was going to pick that one up. Absolutely. Right, I need to have a drink before I tell you about the last one. Because I don't know if it's me, if I'm off my head, or if I just wanted to be a bit adventurous. But I saw this on the shelf... So I thought I'd have a look at the trailer because the back of it looked really weird. And there's very few times when a film will hit you emotionally, whether it be sadness, laughter, ecstatic, or just pissing yourself. Um, I did a bit of each. I actually, <laughs> I actually burst into laughter in the middle of CEX. I wish I'd videoed it. Um, and the blokes behind the counter were wondering what the bloody hell was going on. This looks really twisted and shitted up. But it looks so much fun. <laughs> it's called Attack of the Adult Babies. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? A great audience movie. An exercise in cinematic shock. And that's from Bloody Disgusting website or magazine. Dominic Brunt has made a truly original and surprisingly meaningful British horror comedy. A wild and fiercely shameless celebration of nastiness all out of bad taste. I mean, you can't really get much from those pictures. But if you watch the trailer, it looks like a... A retreat in this big old house like Downton Abbey where all these old men go dress up in babies nappies and be pampered by nurses but it looks so bloody hilarious it really does absolutely insane it says absolute insanity get ready for a wild trip on the other side of normal this is fucking... I don't know what I'm doing picking up something like this. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I was just sit, standing there in CEX, nearly pissing myself watching the trailer for this. 
<laughs> it looks so funny. Oh God, I'm going to watch this. Do you know what I'm going to do? This coming weekend, I'm going to watch this and I'm going to do my review straight after it. So it'll be like the Poundland bin, but I've got to do this. <laughs> because I need to I need to see what this is like. But yes, um yeah, I've lost it. I've totally lost it. <laughs> but uh, it does look bloody funny. And I like a bit of slapstick humor, comedy kind of shit and wackiness. I mean, from from the trailer, there's like adult men with pig faces and nurses slashing axes into people's heads <laughs> but it's piss take it's funny it's really funny looking it's kind, it kind of reminds me of the humor of like the young ones you know when vivian and um and rick would just beat the shit out of each other and poke things up their noses and things like that it looks so funny but um i'm looking forward to watching it and i'll definitely do my reaction we'll do a we'll do a video review this weekend so that's my pickups for today. Some good titles there, some cheap titles as well. Two pound fifty, two pound, two pound, four pound, two pound fifty. Brilliant. The most expensive one was the Attack of the Adult Babies for ten pounds. So um, I don't know how new this is, or how maybe rare this is. Bloody hell, it does feature a lot of special features. But we'll talk about that at the weekend. So yes, so that's my pickups. So <laughs> there's some good films to be uh, to be watching. Hope you enjoyed this little out and about midweek Blu-ray hunt. Don't forget in the link down below I've got some links for my Big Paulie merchandise which if you want to go over and have a look on my Facebook page or Instagram you might be able to pick yourself up a hat or a t-shirt that kind of stuff and also a link to my Patreon page as well. So if you want to go over and sign up for Patreon and get all the benefits and that that Big Paulie will give you. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I tell you, I'm definitely losing it. It must be something to do with hitting 3,000 subscribers. It's going to my head. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Share it and all that kind of shit. And... What the fuck? Bye.